Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you for joining us. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. Today we're going to be doing the review of The Little Mermaid. I've seen the first trailer and I believe this is the second official trailer. I mean, from the first trailer, we know that this has caused a whole lot of conversation. Uh, but for me, I'm really excited to see the second trailer. And I'm excited to hear more of the beautiful and talented Hal um, Hal Bailey's voice. As you all know, Hal is one half of the beautiful group called Chloe and Hal. Incredible performances. So to see how do this this huge um to be given this huge role and opportunity to become the little mermaid um i think it's incredible and it goes to also show how talented and versatile she is so um unlike many people who have tried to overshadow this incredible um opportunity with their bow and hate um me, myself and I, we're going to celebrate this. We're going to enjoy the second trailer. And I hope you too. Let's, let's get right into it. Oh, how I do that? The bandit shit! drowning i had to save him this obsession with humans has to stop i just want to know more about them ariel don't poor oh, child i can help you you can't live in that world unless you become a human yourself is that even possible all right so far it's so beautiful and of course hal's voice is unique it draws you in and it makes you feel like you are in a trance. She's got such a beautiful voice. And of course, I saw Yave Badem. I love Yave Badem. He's such a great actor. I hope I'm pronouncing his first name properly. But I love you, Yave, if you watch this. <laughs> and of course, there's Melissa McCart McCartney, who's uh, playing the role of Hustler. Of course, I love Melissa. She's funny. She's incredible. So it's good to see her play this part as well um what can i say so far it's the the same um story as the the little mermaid that we all know if you've read the story as a child you already know the story but i guess seeing how it's set and how from what i see um i, I like the color i like the under the sea I can't wait to see. It feel, It looks a bit dark. I don't know if it's my phone or that's how it was shot. But it looks a bit dark. But I hope it will brighten up a bit more later on. So far, so good. Let's continue. Uh, that's what I live for. about you see i mean that hair flip i want to flip mine too <laughs> i love it i love it it's so it's so beautiful it's it's so alive i mean it's really a live action to see her come out of the water and flip that dread that incredible beautiful gorgeous golden dread and i'm thinking oh my gosh i want dreads too um hal is is beautiful and that scene it's going to be like the scene of all the sins. After we watch the real movie, that's going to be one of the scenes we're going to be talking about for a very long time. So let's keep going. Different. I can't quite figure it out. She got legs, you idiot. I You're a mermaid. That doesn't 
make us enemies. Oh my goodness, ghost bombs. I think I'm crying a little bit too. <laughs> it's so beautiful. How like I I've said it before. I know a lot of people like to be biased. A lot of people like to to create controversy for no reason. It's almost as if you're not allowed to win sometimes in this world. People make you want to people want you to believe that it is you're inherently born to lose because in their mind they cannot conceive that someone like you can win so to see how play this role is already a win it's a win for her and for a lot of little girls who look like her who will see her and think oh even though it's just a fictive mermaid without legs in the sea how is a talented musician she is also a talented actress so for a lot of little girls who aspire to be performers to be actresses to be singers how is going to be their role model from this and to see someone that reflects you there's nothing like that so while people are out there misbehaving and acting like juveniles and children and immature nobodies how is winning and just watching her i feel like i'm winning <laughs> i mean we are all winning at this point and this is so beautiful and i really wish that those people will go see it so that they can criticize it i mean we really want this to be big and it will be big and i think that's a good sign when people criticize your work it tells you that you've done something right even though a little bit of it might need improvement like every other work when people go out of their way to become this mean and disrespectful, it tells me that something something right has been done. With all the problems happening in the world, you would think that people would have other things to really worry about. If this is if this is what they're worrying about, then I think they need help. Like I always say, when people need help, they should go seek help. So let's continue watching this. I can't wait for May to come any sooner. Please come, May, so that we can go see it. And it's always hard to gauge whether these um, these animations will serve any kind of positive purpose. For one, a lot of children are raised on these animations, so it will do good for other children around the world who haven't had the opportunity to see themselves in this kind of animation, these big and huge animations, to see themselves. And it was so endearing to have the figurine of her as the Little Mermaid with the beautiful brown skin and dreads. I'm going to get that for my, for my daughter as well. And um, I am anticipating this, not because I think... Um, it is out of the ordinary. I'm anticipating it because it's a good step forward. Um, I have always shown my children these animations. Despite the color of the skin of the initial um, um, Ariel, I didn't mind showing my children um, this, the, the Little Mermaid. So I do not see why other people will not want to show their children this version of the Little Mermaid. If I can do it, they can do it too. So on that note, until next time, please do not forget to subscribe and like and share and leave your comments, of course. Why is this so controversial? Why do you think people are have got their pants and their knickers in a twist because of a beautiful brown aerial? Let me know. Leave your comments down below. And until next time, ta!